Camilla, Duchess of Cornwall, 74, and Prince Charles, 73, are in Wales undertaking royal engagements for a week. Today, the Prince and the Duchess visited Millbrook Primary School in Newport, Wales. The Duchess is the patron of the National Literacy Trust, and officially opened the school's new library. This was part of the National Literacy Trust's nationwide Primary School Library Alliance campaign. For the occasion, Camilla chose a chic shirt dress, which appeared to be from Kevin, the designer label by Samantha Cameron. The £203 dress is currently on sale from £290. The dress description on the website says, Sfin's Georgie shirt dress is so elegant and feminine. It's made from recycled twill that's patterned with warm blooms and has pleats throughout the skirt to create movement as you walk. Cinch the waist with the accompanying belt. The midi dress featured long sleeves and a green floral pattern. She previously wore the dress at a festival in Salisbury in June this year. The Duchess of Cornwall combined the look with a pair of peach wide fit block heels that looked like they were from Soul Bliss. Soul Bliss is Camilla's favorite shoe brand, as the royal has been very open about her struggles with bunions. Camilla styled her hair in her usual platinum blow dry and opted for a natural makeup look. For jewelry, she was seen donning her favorite Van Cleef and Arpels bracelet. Camilla's vintage Alhambra yellow gold agate bracelet costs a whopping £3,950. She was also wearing her Fitbit on her left wrist. The Duchess could also be seen sporting her Art Deco engagement ring. Charlotte White, head of design at Europe's largest online diamond jeweler 77 Diamonds, previously spoke to Express.co.uk about Camilla's engagement ring and its sentimental value. The expert said, when Prince Charles got down on one knee and asked Camilla to marry him in 2005, he did so with a clean, contemporary, magnificent diamond engagement ring. More reminiscent of the geometric bold lines favoured by today's young fashionistas, in contrast to, for example, the classic and opulent oval and diamond halo of Princess Diana's sapphire ring. It was passed down to him from the Queen Mother, who was first pictured wearing it in the 1980s. Although the royal household has never divulged its date of creation or why it was commissioned, they have called it a family heirloom, implying a certain depth of history, the expert claimed. 